Franks and Starlings proposed the force of contraction is directly proportional to the initial length of the muscle fiber whether it is cardiac or skeletal muscle and uh, here I would like to concentrate on the cardiac muscle or sarcomere of uh, different lengths and their uh, the force generation. So here we had three situations under stretch and under stretch what happens the actin myosin interactions are not properly aligned where the uh, the sarcomere excessively closed the Z lines are very closed whereas uh, G lines are very apart in the over stretch where the green dots indicates the actin myosin interaction sites are not properly even aligned in the overstretched whereas optimum length of the cardiac muscle approximately 2.2 micrometer so can have the the maximum the force generation because the all the actin myosin interaction is possible at the optimal length uh, because increasing actin myosin interaction increasing calcium sensitivity upon the stretch and the force generation and uh, thereby pressure generation is high in the cardiac muscle that's how the end diastolic volume increases the stroke volume or cardiac output CO in normal situation a normal physiological range at the rest which is shown here in the green color line whereas when we performing the exercise the high intensity exercise in fact increases the end diastolic volume thereby increases the stroke volume so if the end diastolic volume increases stroke volume is proportional according to Frank Starling's law so here in the heart failure the color shows in the red color because of the failure of the heart so the force generation is uh, may not be sufficient the thereby the Frank Starling's law would fail in the heart failure situation so the contractility of the myocardium or sarcomere is directly proportional to the initial length up to the physiological limits that's what Frank Starling's last